So I already have a feeling that part four and beyond is going to start getting personal because it is. So let's get going. Mother of Mine is a very triggering film for me. It brings up so many mommy issues and joins the trilogy of ethnic mommy issue films that speak to me. If you've seen Bed Knobs and Broomsticks and Chronicles of Narnia, you will know that there were children that also dealt with being separated from their families, like in Operation Pied Piper in England and as the boy in Mommy of Mine in Scandinavia. Aboriginal ethnic issues are also central to this film, The Wind Talkers. The choices people make have accountability, and sometimes that gets uncomfortable. That is very painfully demonstrated in this film, Everything is Illuminated. I wouldn't watch it again. It was very disturbing to me, but it is based on a true story. So when I went to Germany the first time in 1990, I got to meet a World War II veteran. Uh, he'd been drafted as a very young boy and had to serve in the military. It was a very uncomfortable subject, World War II. And of course, people didn't like to talk about it. And yet the Germans tried. They were really trying with my age group to set things straight, to be honest, to make things right. Sort of like what America is not willing to do today with our issues, like with slavery and the genocide of the Native American people and the usurpation of the Hawaiian kingdom. And so I found this documentary very telling, very much like what I encountered in Germany and very sad. It was never their fault, but in actuality, it was. Go to your graves denying it, but who else was the actor in the story? Speaking of actors and stories, here's one of my personal heroes, a documentary about Dietrich Bonhoeffer. And it was this documentary about Helmut Hübner that opened my eyes to the reality that my church that I was raised in, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, had no heroes except this boy. I didn't realize what shitbags were in leadership until very recently, though. The ramifications of what went down during World War II had real consequences for the German people, which I saw in 1990 when I got to travel through East Germany and see Berlin just after the Berlin Wall came down. I saw the movie Night Crossing when I was quite young and it had a large impact on me. And in my adulthood, the film Barbara about an East German woman impacted me deeply as well. If you've watched my TikToks for any amount of time, you know that I am a domestic violence survivor and that I have had issues with my abusers, issues that I've struggled with for a long time, and we'll be addressing that in part five.